Oh, Android O is here. What does Android O stand for? Anyway, Android O was announced today, the preview version. Let's go install it on our Pixel or Nexus 6P. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, first of all, you're going to go ahead and put your Nexus 6P or, oops, sorry. All right, guys, first of all, this will work on a Nexus 6P, Nexus 5X, uh, also a Pixel or Pixel XL. Instructions are the same, uh, but you'll have to download the different file. I will show you all that. The first thing you want to do is put it into a uh, fast boot mode. Now, when you install this, it's going to erase everything. I mean, literally everything on your phone. So just know that you're going to lose everything on your phone. Make sure you back up everything. All right, you do not need a rooted phone. You don't have to unlock it. You can do it on any phone because this is a stock firmware. First thing you want to do is power off your phone. All right, once powered off, go ahead and hold down volume down and power. I'm using a Pixel XL, by the way, obviously here. If it doesn't work second time, try again. Volume down and power. Hold it down until you get into fast boot mode. Ah, try again. There we go. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Um, next, you're going to go ahead and connect it to your computer via USB type C. And let's go to your computer. All right, guys, first thing you will need to do is go to this site, developer.android.com slash preview download.html. I'll have links to this on my site and all the download links you need. Basically, go here and download uh, the appropriate uh, firmware for your device. So I'm using a Pixel XL. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Uh, for Nexus 5X is over here, 6P. You get the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, download. I've already actually downloaded as you can see here. And let me go ahead and click on it. And it, go ahead and extract all files. All right, once uh, extracted, you'll find a bunch of files in here. All right, it should be under your downloads folder. Now you also need to download fastboot.zip, all right? And USB driver, underscore driver.zip. You can use Linux or Mac. I'll have um, the substitute command you gotta write. You don't need drivers for Linux or Mac or Chromebook, all right? Go ahead and unzip USB driver also. Then you'll get a uh, folder called USB driver. Also fastboot.zip, go ahead and unzip it to fastboot. And if you go in the fastboot directory, you'll have all the files you need for uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. All right, next what you want to do is go back to the uh, firmware folder, all right? You can go ahead and copy the bootloader, the file starting bootloader, also the image, and also the radio. Go ahead and copy all of this into your fastboot directory. All right, next you'll need to install the drivers. Uh, if you're using Windows, if you're using Mac or Linux, again, you can skip this step. Um, go into Hardware and Sound Device Manager. And you should see Android with an exclamation mark or maybe a, your device name with an exclamation mark. Go ahead and double click it. Um, cl click update driver, go to browse my computer for software. Let me pick from a list of device drivers. Um, click show all devices, hit next, go to have disk, go to browse, uh, and then go into your download folder and go into the USB underscore uh, folder you unzip the files to. Select when uh, Android Win USB, sorry, I'm going too fast probably. Let me slow down. I hit OK, um, choose Android ADB interface, hit next. Make sure you do it in exact order that I showed you because otherwise you'll not see it like this. Hit OK, um, say yes, install, close, close, and you should see Android ADB interface, all right? Once you see that, you're good to go. Close out of everything. Next, we're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt. Let's go ahead and type uh, CMD in your search or however you wanna open up command prompt. I know some of you have shortcuts. I just do it my way. All right, uh, or if you're using a Mac or Linux, open up a terminal. If you don't know how, please Google it. Um, go ahead and type CD downloads. Go ahead and type CD fastboot. Next, we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot space flash space bootloader. And you're gonna type B-O-O-T and hit the tab button and it will fill out the rest of it for you. Or you can keep hitting the tab if there's other names, uh, file names. Um, basically, you're gonna go ahead and put in this bootloader image name, whatever that is for your uh, version of the phone. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. All right, we just flashed uh, the bootloader. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space reboot dash bootloader. 
All right, this is, um, whoops, boot loader like that. Go ahead and hit enter, and this will reboot your phone back into uh, fast boot mode. The reason why we do this is to clear out, and then we're gonna flash all the other stuff. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space, radio space, type radio, and then hit the tab button, and it should fill it out for you. Hit enter, oops. I forgot flash, sorry. It's fast boot space flash space radio um, space radio blah 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 dot img. All right, we need to do uh, fast boot reboot dash bootloader again. This will reboot us back into the fast boot bootloader mode. All right, next, lastly but not least, we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space minus w space update space image dash marlin uh, blah blah dot zip. This will actually install the system image. Now for Mac or Linux, I'll have all the commands. It's very similar um, that you gotta type on uh, for Mac or Linux, all right? So let's just follow that. All right, I did get an error with the bootloader. I don't think it should be a problem because we already flashed the bootloader. Um, so go ahead and just type fast boot space reboot. All right, and you should be pretty much done. All right, I am getting this error. Um, device can't be checked for corruption. That is because uh, I have a unlock bootloader. All right, if you don't have an unlock boot, if you don't have a rooted uh, pixel or nexus, you shouldn't see that. But you can see uh, powered by Android. This is the new Android. Uh, oh, a boot up screen. And boom, shakalaka, baby. I got it booted. If you got to this point, you should be good to go. Congratulations. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Let's do a quick hands-on experience of what changed, all right? So we go into settings. Um, not too much change. The menu have seems to have changed a little bit. All right, uh, let's go to Google. This is all your Google menus. Let's go to system, about phone, Android version, oh! Oh, all right, let's go check out the new O. It looks like, what could that be? Hmm, it's just a bunch of circles. All right, let's see if there's a game for this. Hold it down. And there is still the cat game, so you can go ahead and catch cats. All right, that was introduced with Android Nougat. Ooh, with Wi-Fi, there's uh, new Wi-Fi preferences. All right, that's new with O. All right, there's even a save networks so you can go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. And basically it adds turn Wi-Fi back on, automatically turn on Wi-Fi near saved networks. Wow, that's actually cool. So with Android O, if you're near Wi-Fi, it's gonna automatically turn on Wi-Fi. And let's go into advanced menu. Um, keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Some interesting stuff, uh, Wi-Fi direct. All right. All right, as far as um, the apps, not that much has changed. I don't think so. They're about pretty much stock. Let's go ahead and check out the camera, see if the check camera has changed a little bit. All right, looking good. Camera hasn't really changed. Lens blur settings, bird settings, back camera 4K, not too much. All right, I can see this has gotten uh, a lot bigger, the quick toggles. All right, nothing really new there. Default apps. Uh, this is really nice. I think this is not on Android Nougat. Um, so you'll be able to, you know, one of the biggest problems before you have to go to the apps and then uh, you have to change default apps within that app setting. It was very confusing. Now you can go straight into default adding, you, default app, sorry. All right, it doesn't look far too different from Nougat. Of course, this is a preview version. I'm gonna definitely play with it. Maybe I'll have an overview video of all the changes that I find. Um, also, do check out QB King. He has a video on all the new changes. I haven't actually checked it out, but I'm going to check it out right after this. It looks pretty good. I'm going to definitely check it out. Android O Preview is here. Of course, I don't really recommend it uh, unless you're an early adapter, but it seems like everything's working, so I don't see why not to use it as a daily driver. Anyway, guys, if there's a certain feature you want me to make a video about, uh, something that's really cool with Android O, something I just missed, um, do let me know in the comments section below, and uh, when I make the Android O video, I'll make sure to include it. Don't forget to thumbs up, um, check out more videos on my channel, and also check out uh, QB King's video, I'll have it in the description below. I will see you guys soon, as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.